So here's a patient who was admitted, obviously has diffuse pulmonary opacities. Surprise, surprise, this is COVID infection, COVID pneumonia. It is 2021, so that's what we would expect, expect, and indeed that is the case. But in addition to that, we actually see something else which is pretty interesting. We see these lucencies, curvilinear linear lucencies along the left bore of the heart and strongly the pulmonary artery as well. Nothing going to the neck. Very often when you do see what I think this is, pneumomediastinum, and proven, proven to be this on CT, you see a little bit of gas extending to the neck at times, but nothing there, but certainly this looks great for pneumomediastinum. Patient did have a CT, which shows indeed the patient has some pneumomediastinum here. Uh, the diffuse pulmonary opacity is ground glass opacity and consolidation, again, consistent with COVID-19 pneumonia. But there is mild degree of pneumomediastinum here. It looks to be coming probably from the left lung. Most likely this is due to Macklin effect, so pulmonary interstitial emphysema with alveolar rupture. So the gas tracks along the interstitium back into the mediastinum. That's the going theory. Also, that's probably how most cases of new mediastinum form in patients with asthma. But if you look very, very carefully along some of these left upper lobe vessels, you'll see that there are too many lucencies, little lucencies here that don't um, look like airways. For example, right in here. So obviously every pulmonary artery, you're gonna have an associated bronchus. So here's a pulmonary arterial branch here in the left upper lobe. There's associated bronchus here, but adjacent to the pulmonary artery, there are these tiny little lucencies, which I think you can see right in there. And they don't go into airways. For example, something like in here, that looseness, if we follow it back, really doesn't go into an airway. It's on the wrong side of that pulmonary artery as well. And so that's an example of the pulmonary interstitial emphysema, this gas tracking along this pulmonary artery back into the mediastinum, causing the pneumomediastinum, again, from alveolar rupture. This is not a bronchus. This is the associated bronchus that goes with this pulmonary artery, arterial branch. So this is ectopic gas, which should not be there. So what's the takeaway here? Well, the takeaway really is that new mediastinum, it does occur in COVID-19 infection. We don't really know its, its significance and it can certainly occur even without mechanical ventilation. This patient was not intubated. So it's not that, so these, this is an iatrogenic pneumomediastinum. This is just due to the disease.